Welcome back everybody. This video will show you how to simulate the late operation in virtual mode using late simulator. In the previous video, we have learned about the late machine preparations before doing some late operations. Today we are going to learn about phasing operation. Before doing that, first we must look into our drawing plan. Now this is our raw workpiece drawing. As we can see, at its dimension, the workpiece length is 100 millimeters, and the workpiece diameter is 40 millimeters. So the unit is in metric, in millimeters. Okay. And then let's take a look into our exercise drawing plan. In this drawing plan, we want to reduce the workpiece length until 85 millimeters and we want to create new diameter by reducing the workpiece diameter until 30 millimeters along the 25 millimeters in length and we are also having the grooving operations right there that requires to groove until 5 millimeters in depth with 3 millimeters in wide exactly in the uh, 65 millimeters of the workpiece length or 25 millimeters from the front there is also chamfering operation right there with uh, 3 millimeters of distance and 30 degrees of the uh, chamfer angle okay Now let's get back into the uh, LED simulator application. Let's begin with phasing operation. In the previous video, we have learned about doing preparations for the LED machine, and we have chosen some of the cutting tools which are suitable for these operations. For facing, we will use the cutting tool number 5. Let's take a look. I repeat, for facing, we will use the cutting tool number 5 in the first slot of the toolkit. As you see, this cutting tool can be used for two direction of cutting purposes, facing and turning. Okay. Now let's take a look into our measurement in the right bar. This is our workpiece measurement. Okay. Now let's make sure of all workpiece measurement like the real one using Fernier caliper. On the right bar, you can see at the second button from the below with the Fernier caliper picture. That is the button to do the measurement. And then on the screen, we can see the different line colors, two different line colors. The green one indicates the workpiece and the yellow lines indicates our caliper measurement. To do measurement, just simply touch and hold the L and D alphabet, which indicates the length and diameter as well. And slide it, simply place it exactly with the green line. Now we have our material measurement is 100 millimeters in length 
and 40 millimeters in diameter. As our drawing plan before, for the exercise, we want to reduce our length until 85 millimeters. So we must do the facing workpiece surface, cut off 50 millimeters, 15 millimeters of workpiece thickness. Okay, now we begin our operation. First, we turn on the machine. And then turn on the counterclockwise spindle. Because our cutting tool position is on the left side of the workpiece. And then we approach the cutting tool to the workpiece using the lower right corner thumbs down button and simply use the up and down right and left arrow button. Watch this. To make our operation easily, we must take our camera view into this view. Now I will use the rapid movement with the thumbs down button. But be careful using rapid movement because it is dangerous in the real operation that the cutting probably, the cutting tool probably hit the workpiece or the spindle chuck. So you just make the cutting tool close enough to the workpiece and then using the slow motion thumbs up button and arrow movement. After it's close enough, stop right there. Now we need to do our cutting tool datum calibration, our 0mm for longitudinal cutting and 0mm for transversal cutting. And we activate the carriage and tool post hand wheel in the upper right corner of the screen. Then you will see the carriage hand wheel measurement on the left side of the screen and the tool, tool post hand wheel measurement on the right side of the screen. First, we calibrate the longitudinal cutting. We put our cutting tool outside in front of the workpiece and then we're just touching the cutting tool to the workpiece by touch and slide the carriage hand wheel measurement to the left slowly until you hear a cut sound. After you hear that sound, you just simply push the zero button exactly in the above of carriage hand wheel measurement. And then the position of the hand wheel measurement will be at zero millimeter in this position. After that, take away the cutting tool from the workpiece by sliding the carriage hand wheel measurement to the right. Okay. And take the cutting tool to the left side of the workpiece and put it back again to the zero millimeter longitudinal position. Okay, and then carry the cutting tool approaching the workpiece and slowly cut, slowly uh, touch the cutting tool with the workpiece like our longitudinal calibration before. But first, you must move the uh, carriage hand wheel into the left position just a little bit, maybe 0 0.5 millimeters, just to make sure that the cutting tool 
is touching the workpiece properly and you can hear the uh, cut sound. 0 0.5 is enough. Okay. And then we're approaching the workpiece by sliding the uh, toolpost hand wheel to the right side, just slowly. Do it manually, slowly, very slow, until you hear the cut sound. All right, that is our zero position. And then push the zero button in the above of the hand wheel measurement. Okay. Now we put back our cutting tool with moving uh, the uh, carriage hand wheel on the left side of the screen into zero position again. Now we have calibrated our cutting tool data. Okay. Now take away the cutting tool to the left side of the workpiece and increase increase the uh, facing depth of cut by slowly sliding the carriage hand wheel measurement on the left side of the screen, two millimeters only. Now our final length in the drawing plan is 85 millimeters. So from our 100 millimeters of length, the workpiece, uh, we must cut down the workpiece for 15 millimeters of thickness. And we may allow to use two millimeters only per cutting because in the real operations, the cutting tool will be damaged or wear quickly if the fitting is too thick. So two millimeters is enough per cutting. And sometimes the chips are hot and sharp and also will be thrown everywhere during cutting. Sometimes it will hit your body part. So if the cutting chips are thick, it may be quite dangerous. Now simply click the thumbs up button on the screen, on the screen lower right corner and push the up arrow button to do automatic facing cutting. After it reach the center of the workpiece cross section, then stop the cutting and then carry the cutting tool backward. And we repeat this operation until we reach our final length. Remember, two millimeters per cutting only. Don't do it too much.
Okay, now we reach 10 millimeters depth of cut. I want to check the measurement first using the Vernier caliper because I want to make sure that our measurement is correctly according to the drawing plan. Turn off the spindle first and then push the Vernier caliper picture button. It should be 19 millimeters right now. 90 millimeters right now. All right? It's correct. Okay. Now, if the measurement is correct, then we can proceed to the last five millimeters depth of cut. We proceed again. Okay, after f finish our operation and reaching our target, don't forget to make sure the measurement is correct according to the drawing plan. Fine, it's very good. It's 85 millimeters right now and it's correctly according to the drawing plan. Then our work is done for facing. Okay, now don't forget to carry away the cutting tool from the workpiece. And turn off the lathe machine. by pushing the red button right here. Okay, and do the cleaning by click the chip basket button in the screen lower left corner. Okay, now our facing tutorial is done. Once you get done with this operation, you can proceed to the next video for the turning operation. Thank you and good luck.